Hello guys, um, it is Friday here and I finally am ready to show you guys the molt video about duck molting. Sorry, um, I got my hair cut, clearly, still getting used to it. So anyway, um, we're just going to jump right into duck molting. Okay, so to start our talk about molting, I just want to show you the difference between um, a molted flight feathers. So these two do not have molted flight feathers. You can see their wing feathers are nice and long, as is Natasha's, and go across their whole back. In comparison, you can see Hope doesn't have those nice, long, silky feathers, smooth feathers. And if you look real close, you can kind of see the little baby wing feathers just peeking out there. So that's the difference in looks between a duck who is growing back their feathers and adult, a duck who has molted. Um, so there are mallard-based ducks in the wild generally have two molts a year. Muscovy ducks will have one molt a year. Most, I shouldn't say most, other birds have a sequential molt where they'll, for instance, chickens will start with a molt um, they'll start molting in their head and then move down all the way to their tail feathers. Uh, waterfowl and specifically ducks are a little bit different. They have simultaneous molts. They just like drop all their feathers at once. <laughs> um, it can be a little freaky sometimes when you come out and there's just a ton of feathers and you're like, oh my gosh, did a predator get my bird? Because there's feathers everywhere and they've just molted. So the first, first molt of the year is in early spring um, it's very subtle so if you only keep female ducks you might not notice or in the case of um, my ducks uh, my none of not, neither of my breeds or species or whatever um, have different colorings between males and females and so the spring malt I don't notice because it affects the drakes um the drakes coloration so you know when like wild mallards they'll have the green heads they don't have those all year so in the early spring they have more drab coloring closer to females so in the early spring molt when the drakes are like ha 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 um it's time to you know start being romantic he will molt the winter feathers and then replace them with, with what is called the nuptial plumage or his bright colors. Um, so, and then the hens might be, might end up with like slightly brighter, um, on wild mallards, sometimes the females will have that brown or blue bar on their wings. So those might be a little bit brighter. Um, and then this might be the time where your ducks start getting real sassy with each other. <laughs> so, because now it's time for them to find, split up and start doing their thing. Um, so that's the spring molt. And then in the summer, we have summer to fall, there is another molt. And if I understand correctly, this can really sometimes even be like two molts. Um, but it also depends on the gender. And wild and domesticated drakes and female ducks will go through slightly different molt patterns because the female's laying on the hens. So in the summer molt, um, happens around two to three weeks. Um, generally for wild ducks, this is going to be um the end of the breeding season obviously that's not the same for domesticated ducks and so mine seem to molt later um but i definitely see our my saw my drakes molting closer in the summertime and now my females are finally molting um so the drakes will get rid of their nuptial plumage that really pretty green and they'll go back to more drab because it's safer that way for them um easier for them to hide from predators. Again, mine don't do this because we don't have different colorations for males and females, so they'll just molt their feathers. And then they will lose almost all their downy undercoat. Um, and they will also lose their primary flight feathers. Okay, so like I said, they lose their um, 
their flight feathers during this time. And <laughs> duck feathers, especially their flight feathers, um, are really awesome for like crafts and stuff. And then their downy feathers for using in like sewing. And so um, usually you would pluck the duck after it has been butchered. Um, obviously I haven't butchered any of my ducks yet, but I like to gather them off the ground. So here's some of the ones that I've gathered this time. So this would be a flight feather off of one of the Muscovies. Um, and so they lose these and it's more noticeable in the boys generally because the females don't, um, well, they're usually looking at watching the babies at this point. This is this usually happens around shortly after, at some point after they've hatched their eggs. And so the moms aren't flying around anyway. So they molt and then they stay in the water area for safety for them and their ducklings. And then the boys will also stay very close to water so they can use the water to run away. This is the molt that you're, you're like, Oh my gosh, what happened to my ducks? There's feathers everywhere. Um, and in fact, I found a feather out there that looks like it had recently been grown and then somehow broke off. And so there was still blood on it from growing in. And I like panicked because I was like, okay, that's unusual. Luckily, everybody was fine. I think it just like broke off. Um, for domesticated ducks, obviously losing their flight feathers is like not a big deal. Um, and you won't have ducks running around naked. Um, they're just going to be kind of, mine were just really kind of haggard looking. <laughs> they weren't naked, they just, <laughs> they looked a little tired and haggard. Um, as far as molting goes, uh, some of the things that you can do, it takes a lot of energy to regrow feathers. So there are, in wild ducks, there are three um, big time periods that involve is a really nice one. It's got that blue sheen on it. Uh, it's for one of my Ancanas. Um, migrating, uh, egg laying, sorry I just love this color, and uh, molting all require a lot of energy. So they make sure that those time periods don't overlap. Um, mine obviously don't migrate so they don't have to worry about that, but is also why the girls molt after they lay the eggs, because <laughs> egg laying, egg laying can be a lot. Um, so you, it's can be helpful to up their protein during this time. You can add, um, you can scramble eggs for them. Funny enough, and feed them scrambled eggs. I didn't. Mine are on a higher protein than they should be year round, and. Um, because it's the most convenient for me to get. Um, and I generally try not to worry about it too much because most of the year they're laying and then they're molting and then it's winter time. And so I don't really think it's necessarily the worst given where we live and that we have a very long, long winter period for them to be on the higher protein. And they seem to be doing okay with it so far. If we ever need to adjust, we will. But that's why I don't give them extra protein during molting. But if you're on the 16 to 14% that's closer to the proper, I think this is a Samson feather. A little Brightling, if you remember, Brightling is now Samson. Um, it can be good to give them that extra protein. Your duck, like I said, your ducks won't be naked. They'll just like run around a little haggard. Um, and this, these molts usually only last a couple weeks. Um, chickens will molt for months, but ducks pound it out in like a couple weeks. Um, and like I said, it's very energy draining. I think, oh, do I have more? Um, I think this one's from Peaches. Peaches. Um, like I said, most wild hens are raising ducklings. So, yeah, that's kind of the basics of molting. I like this one. This is a Yelena feather. Um, as far as, like, I pick up the feathers that are not in, like, terrible shape. This one obviously isn't in great shape, but I liked the coloring. Um, some of these I got really lucky with, like this black one. I got lucky with that one. Um, I just try and pick up their feathers. <laughs> and they're pretty much done by the time winter hits. Well, not quite, because mine are feathery and more, or 
still growing in their wing feathers, and it is snow out there, but... Uh, they usually have all of their inflating downy back by then. They just have a few more wing feathers to come back in this time. So, yeah, that is duck molting. It's really kind of interesting. I think it's like, because I don't notice it right away until just, poof, one day my ducks don't have any wing feathers anymore. And watching the feathers come back in is really fun. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box and I will read them. Other than that, we are winterized, so I will be doing update videos on our winterizing. And I have another video in mind. And um, I'm, I still haven't settled on training plans for my dogs yet, so we haven't gotten there yet. But anyway, there you go. As for what I, I'm going to end up doing with all the feathers depends for now i just collect the ones that i think are prettier and are, are in good condition um could use them for crafts um these might end up in some i have a couple of people that watch these that are uh that have virtual virtually adopted some of the ducks so some of these might end up in your mail we'll see other than that if i ever get enough i might consider selling them or giving them away as prizes but for now i just have them because I think they're beautiful and they're nice mementos of my dogs. Also, um, big shout out to Barbara. Thank you for your letters. They were so sweet. I really appreciated that. So anyway, um, that's it for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.